Hi guys, welcome back to Sam's Life with a Husky. Today is the morning of Sunday, January 8th, 2023. And since I said morning of, you know I'm not working today. So let me do the forecast and I will tell you why. I am not working today, which I'm very upset about. So, weather forecast is, we got some overcast skies, no rain, and it's about 26 degrees. Leave it. Good boy. Leave it. Good boy. So, 26 degrees, like I said, it's a little chilly. I got my, my winter coat on and uh, we are doing our morning walk. Ghost is a little extra poly today. We uh, walked by uh, one of the neighborhood dogs that isn't the friendliest and whenever we walk by that dog, he always gets like super antsy after we pass him and wanting to walk faster. I don't know what it is. So, but anyways, let's get into why I am not working today. So, like I told you guys, I am home for the day. I'm actually sitting out on my porch because I wanted some fresh air besides our walk this morning. Uh, I did shoot another clip on the walk, but I sounded very frustrated, <laughs> which I, I have a right to be frustrated and you'll find out why. But I wanted to make a more calm clip. Ghost is right here. He's chilling with me. You see, I got my Nomi blanket on and my hat because my hair is wet. So I, I, I won't be out here long, but I, I wanted some fresh air. And yeah, so I am home on a Sunday not working, which is not normal. And the reason why is because my car decided to show her age yesterday. Part of it is age and part of it is, uh, I hate to say this, my friend over at the auto shop that I will not mention its name, but your guys missed some stuff. So I'm not too happy with you, not you, I'm not too happy with your shop right now. So nothing against you, my friend, you know who you are. If you're watching, I don't even know if you're watching or not. Um, but I will not be bringing my car to your shop anymore because your guys should have found one of the issues that's wrong with my car. Anyways, my car is in the shop. On my very last delivery yesterday, it decided to become very loud I legit was leaving my last customer of the day. It was four o'clock in the e in the afternoon. I had been gone from my house for almost 11 hours. Um, I worked a 10 hour day yesterday and um, it was because it's a slow week and I needed to make money. And I'm glad I did. I'm glad I stayed out an extra couple hours. And you'll find out why <laughs> in this clip. Um, so I left the customer's driveway and I touched the gas pedal to drive away normally, just dr normally drive away. And she sounded a little loud and actually scared me for a second. I took my foot off the gas pedal and then I put it back on. And wow, my lips are super chapped. <laughs> Squirrel. Anyways, I put my foot back on the gas pedal and she was really loud. So I, uh, I assumed that I had a hole in my muffler that, or a rust spot somewhere on my muffler that decided to let loose. And um, so yeah, I was a little frustrated by that because I know how much mufflers can be. Because when you have to, even if it's just part of your muffler, like say the rear section of your muffler, in all reality, you should be replacing the entire muffler because when they loosen up that rear portion of the muffler, it wiggles everything else. And if you just replace that rear section, um, you'll be back in probably about a month to the do the rest because everything got jostled around from removing that one piece because mufflers aren't all one piece. 
normally. It, they're normally separate pieces. So anyways, I assumed I had a muffler, um, a hole in my muffler. Not a problem. I could have worked today with a hole in my muffler. That's not a problem. But then I also started hearing yesterday, probably about halfway through the day, I started hearing um, one of my brakes is rubbing. At least one of them was rubbing. Now these brakes are almost a year old. They have probably, let's see, I put almost 30,000 on my car this year. So they probably have 26 to 27,000 miles on them. So I was probably due for brakes because, you know, um, they were only rated for 14,000. Depending on your driving will depend on how much wear and tear you get out of your brakes. Well, here's my problem and why I'm a little frustrated with this issue. Uh, buddy, I love you, but I'm not coming to your shop anymore because of this reason. This particular shop, when you take your car in for a tire rotation and an oil change, <laughs> look how cute he is. Give you a little, a little soft note to uh, a rough video. Um, when you take your car into this particular shop for an oil change and a tire rotation, which is what I went in for, uh, they're supposed to do a few other checks. They're supposed to do like a light check, make sure all your lights are looking good. They're supposed to check your wipers. They're supposed to check your brakes. Um, they're, supp they're supposed to do like a mini inspection on your car. That's the policy for this company. And they're supposed to check your air filters, all of that. Well, on Tuesday, this past Tuesday, five days ago, I took my car in for an oil change and tire rotation because she was due. And um, they should have caught this issue. Come to find out, uh, both of my front calipers are going bad. They're sticking, so I need to replace both of my front calipers. Um, I need brakes all the way around, which also means I need rotors all the way around. Um, there's nothing ba wrong with my back calipers. It, they actually told me that they look like they've been replaced sometime in the life of the vehicle. It wasn't me, so it must have been a previous owner. Um, if you didn't know, I did buy this vehicle used two years ago uh, because I couldn't afford a new vehicle at the, at the time. But um, yeah, so I'm a little upset with my buddy's shop. I'm not upset with my buddy. I love you. You know who you are. If you're watching, I love you. You're my you're my best bud, but I'm not bringing it to my your shop anymore because uh, they should have found this. Um, I wouldn't have had to have taken a day off of work today. Um, they should have seen that my brakes were low. My back brakes, um, they said, were a little lower than my front, but I needed it all the way around. So, um, yeah. Because of this, uh, I just got the phone call uh, about an hour ago from the shop that I took it to. And this shop is right down the road for me. My buddy's shop is a little bit further away. And I took it there because he's my buddy and I want to give him business. Um, but uh, they told me that not only do I just have a hole in my muffler, apparently the entire rear portion of my muffler is detached. Like it must have had a rust spot going evenly all the way around and it just cracked. So my entire rear muffler is um, detached. And knowing mufflers like I do, cause I had a Jeep that had muffler issues and my parents' cars in the past have had muffler issues because we have always bought used vehicles. Cause we, uh, we weren't, the richest family in the world. We didn't have the money to buy it, go out and buy a brand new vehicle. So, um, we've always bought you. So we've had muscle muffler if you issues in the past. So even though it's just the rear portion and I could just replace that rear portion, I am doing the entire muffler. So from the converter, so the front section, middle section, and the rear section, I'm doing the entire thing. And the reason I'm doing that is because if I were to just replace the portion where it is broken, when they are replacing it, there's so much jostling with mufflers because they're so tightly put together that the fittings in, they, there's another term for those. I'm not a mechanic, so I'm not, I don't remember what she called them. <laughs> oh, you guys, you, you know me. I'm not a mechanic, but I know a lot about cars because of I've had used vehicles all my life. So um, I've had a lot go wrong. He's not down there. What you doing, Ghosters? 
Oh, it's a big stretch. So I am getting the entire muffler exhaust, I guess you can call it exhaust system, replaced from the converter all the way to the back of my car because I don't want to go back in a month because the other parts of my muffler have now loosened up and my vehicle is loud again. Um, I am getting front calipers, brakes all around. The brakes are under warranty, so I don't have to pay for those. Um, rotors all the way around. And uh, you ready for this? $3,500 later. <laughs> Don't you love cars, guys? Like, you, this, this is why, like, I work, oh my goodness, really? Sorry, I'm trying to zoom in, hold on. It won't let me zoom in. Oh, it's because I'm on this camera, that's why. I'm on the front-facing camera, so, um, yeah, what? Oh my goodness, now we got a stick. And I... Real... Look at you! I don't know if you guys can see... You are filthy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. You're a white dog who just rolled in legit mud. I'm not throwing that. That is a teeny weensy stick. It's not happening. So, yeah, guys. $3,500. There, um, The lady was really nice. This shop always takes really good care of me. They know I'm super OCD about my vehicle because I work with my vehicle. They love the fact that I'm so detailed about when things go wrong and all of that. They love it. So, um... She, she, the lady goes to me, she goes, we can split it up. She goes, your brakes are the primary issue. She goes, your muffler is, is an issue, but it can wait like a week if you really needed to. Um, I was like, do me a favor, just fix my car. <laughs> and she goes, I didn't think that was the favor you were going to be asking for. <laughs> Granted, it is going to clear out my savings. Uh, I will have a little bit of savings left over, don't worry, but... I tell you what, I am so glad I did not go out and buy my laptop on Wednesday um, when I got the news from this same shop that the knocking that my buddy shop told me was nothing. Uh, this shop actually said that it is nothing and they looked at it again today. <laughs> They're like, there's a new mechanic. There's another mechanic here. He's the top mechanic. He, we'll, we'll have him look at it again just to be sure. So there is no, there's... The knocking is because my vehicle is old. It's it's a, an old knocking sound. And they said that they're, they did say it was something particular. But I can't remember what it is because I'm not a mechanic. Uh, but they said there's no need to fix it right now because the parts that you get are usually used anyways. And you'll be back in 20,000 miles to fix it again. So uh, we're going to wait on that. <laughs> I'm not worried about that right now. So that is what is going on today. Um, this clip is very long, so this is probably going to be it for the video today. I do have other videos planned to record today. I'm recording multiple videos today because, because I was so frustrated yesterday with my vehicle deciding to act her age. I did not record yesterday. I'm shaking now. I'm, I am getting a little chilly. It's, um, I think it's like 30 degrees right now. 29 or 30 degrees right now so it is chilly but I needed the fresh air and I did not want to do this clip inside I wanted I wanted the woods in the background and I wanted ghost well I I didn't want him to get muddy but you know um <laughs> he is the reason I am wishing for snow I I am partially happy that we don't have snow partially upset because it's super weird um but not happy that we don't have snow because the yard is mud like our yard is getting torn up more than usual because it's cold so the grass is not growing so when the dogs go out they're tearing up the yard because it's also moist because it since it's cold it's not drying out it's like it, it's so complicated <laughs> but anyways guys um that is all i have for this video um i will probably show you a clip of me driving home or something with my expensively fixed car.
it's not expensive. Like, this is why I, I was going to say this earlier and I got distracted by Ghost. Um, I'm an independent contractor and um, they don't take taxes out of my pay. So I take a percentage out myself and I put it in a separate savings account. But it's not just for taxes. Like, I take out 20 to 25 percent. I'd say about 25 percent. I take 25 percent of my pay and put it into a savings account every week. That's for taxes and it's for maintenance. But you know what it also is for? That thing right there. If something happens to him last minute, I wanna be able to have savings. So for the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna be working my butt off to get a good chunk of savings back in there because if something happens to him, I need to have money. I do have my credit card, so I'm not, I'm not hugely worried. Like the lady actually said, you could get a you could get a credit card through them, and um, I explained to her that I'm trying to pay off debt and get rid of credit cards right now, and she completely understood. She's doing the same thing. Um, if you're not paying off your debt, pay off your debt. It's it's the world is crazy right now, and I'm trying to be 100% debt free. Um, the car that I'm having worked on right now, I still have three years of payments on it and I want, I'm getting it paid off by July. Like I have a payment schedule to get it paid off by July and I still owe nine grand on it. I'm gonna be paying off nine grand in a matter of six to seven months. Yeah. So um, that is all I have for this video today. If you stayed this long, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm pretty sure it's right there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> when I do the front facing camera, I always forget which side it's on. So hit that subscribe button. If you are not subscribed, if you hit that button, be sure to turn on that bell. So you know, when I put out new videos, I'm posting five days a week. Um, it's vlog style with other style. My hand is shaking. I'm sorry. Um, so we're kind of mixing it up a little bit. I got a whole bunch of videos I'm recording today. So if you see me in the same outfit, that's why. I have a whole bunch of videos planned. I have the next two to three days off. Um, I'm gonna do a lot of recording and I'm gonna get everything edited and posted. Um, so yeah, like this video and share it with your friends. Because if you like my videos, chances are other people will like my videos that you know. So share this video, like it. We love you guys. Thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in that next video. Bye. Say bye ghost. Say bye ghost. You're such a good boy. You're a dirty dog though. Do you know that you're a dirty dog? He's a dirty dog.